This morning we filed two Michigan Department of Civil Rights complaints on behalf of two individuals. The first individual is Sawatu Salam Mara. She is being housed at the Women's Huron Valley Correctional Facility. She uh, entered the facility on or about uh, May, March 5th of this year. Um, since that time, she has been unable to get a hijab or Islamic head covering, um, despite many requests by herself and uh, our organization to provide her with one. It is a requirement that all Muslim women cover their hair when they pray. So this is a significant infringement on her uh, ability to practice her religion. She's also been unable to be accommodated with um, food accommodations. Many of the meals that are cooked at the Michigan Department of Corrections are cooked with pork products. Muslims are uh, prohibited from uh, eating pork. Uh, as a result of this, she's had to abstain from taking um, in uh, many meals resulting in actual weight loss during her last trimester of pregnancy. Uh, we've made several requests on her behalf and uh, the Michigan Department of Corrections has been um, non-compliant with their own policy directives and in place and non-responsive to the, uh, the uh, Ms. Sawatu Salama's uh, requests and as well as our requests. And I did attempt to visit on several occasions and each time I was turned away and denied my visit. I inquired and asked why, and um, they had different excuses for different reasons. I pointed out that the MDOC's website specifically states that if I come with my letter from my religious organization and my ID, that I would be allowed my initial visit. Um, I was denied that visit repeatedly, and on one of the occasions, they even asked me to fill out the lien application for the visit, which I did. And I uh, reiterated to them that that was not a requirement for my initial visit, but they had me do it anyway. Um, and I still have not heard anything, and to this date, I have not been allowed my visit. Uh, this is one of the most historic mosques in America. This is the first mosque that Malcolm X spoke at when he got out of prison and came to the city of Detroit. This is a mosque that Muhammad Ali, the great American Muslim boxer and hero, has spoken at this mosque. So for them to question the religious uh, legitimacy of this particular mosque and uh, Miss Muhammad standing is, is really a travesty and it's really an insult and I will just say not just to African American Muslims but it's an insult to the uh, historical legacy of Muslims in the state of Michigan and really all throughout the United States of America. And